National Educator Hello my learner, I hope you are fine and ready to learn in our today's lesson, Standard 8 Science, Topic Plants and Subtopic Adaptation. This topic plants, it's a very interesting topic. Just to remind you that we began with this topic right when we were in class 4. And you looked at several aspects in the topic plants. In class 4 you learned about different crops and weeds. And you are able to classify different types of crops. You are also able to identify different types of weeds that we can find in our environment. Going to class 5 you are able to classify plants into two main groups that is green plants and non-green plants you also further went ahead and looked at functions of external parts of plant and in those external parts of plants I would want to single out the functions of the leaves because as we do adaptation in plants in this class 8 will be looking at a uh, transpiration which is one of the aspects you learned in class 5 as a function of uh, of um, a leaf and it will be very vital when we are discussing on adaptation in class 6 you learned about the flower its function and the parts Class 7, you went ahead and looked at interdependence between plants or, uh, or in other ones, how plants depend on one another for survival. Having taken you down the memory lane of the topic plant, I want now to look at what we have for today. And as I said earlier, our topic is adaptation. And before we look at adaptation, we must understand what we mean by adaptation. What is the meaning of adaptation? And adaptation refers to mechanisms that help a given plant to be better suited in a given environment or in a given habitat so we are referring to to adaptation as mechanisms that help a plant to be better suited in a given environment to be able to survive adaptation will enable a plant be able to survive in a given environment because different plants are suited to be able to survive in given environment. Today we are going to look at those plants that can survive in dry areas. Plants that can survive in dry areas. And before we look at those plants that can survive in dry areas, my dear Lana, I know you can be able to identify or to mention some of these dry areas we are talking about. I give you a minute to tell somebody next to you examples of dry areas. Good. I believe you have mentioned arid areas as part of the dry areas. I believe you have also mentioned areas that receive low 
rainfall. I also want to believe that you are you have also mentioned areas such as semi arid areas and why are we classifying those areas as dry areas one because they receive very low temperatures two uh, very low rainfall sorry and the, uh, two they receive very low rainfall 